Hi Mark, it's our 2013 Redwood. I'm kind of up on the patio here and hopefully the image quality is good. Get around to the front. I don't think this image is doing anything for the actual colors of this coach. There's the marine style 50 amp connection there. It's got the frameless glass, which is nice. Double axle, six point auto levelers. The nice rear cap. And go ahead and step inside. The redwood cabinetry. Hence the name. Let me get some more light on this. Well, turn this up even more here. Let's see. I'm sorry, my camera's not absorbing all the light in this coach. So the couch. Yeah, yeah, hopefully you can see worth a darn. It really is in great shape. The chairs, I mean, they don't look like they've been sat on much. I'm gonna try to do some adjustments on this, hopefully on the computer, and I'll be able to get a little bit more light on the situation here. Really in great shape. Carpet's standing tall. It's not matted. I told you about the granite. It seems like that is one solid thickness all the way. If you look here, I mean, it's it's all the same size. It's not like they bullnosed it. There's the, uh, the desk you had asked about. It's slid out right now. And then it slides right back in. Fireplace still has the stickers on it. Yeah, you can't hardly see that. Wow. I don't know if you can see the black dishwasher here. It is this half unit. Wow. Yeah, like I said, hopefully I can adjust this when we get in the office. Four door refrigerator with the redwood paneling. There's a little bit more light up here. So your full size shower on one side. You got the, the head with a sink, mirrored cabinet, another cabinet in behind with a window, which is nice, and the redwood trim around the window. Here's going to be the uh, washer and dryers right next to the bathroom. Good size stackable units. I was telling you, I think these are more like an efficiency apartment setup. The master, that closed, does have an extra sink here. Mirror, there's my ugly mug if you can see that. TV, that's the carved redwood closet doors. Go back around this way. Got the um, I don't know, chest of drawers type of situation going on there. Slide within a slide. That's the mattress I was telling you about. Pretty typical RV mattress. And these are locked. Good size closet with cedar lining. Let's turn some lights on in here, actually. That might help. Hey. So there's your cedar lined closet, TV. Mirror, sink, bed, chest of drawers, main slide out, and then the smaller slide out is just the bed itself. Behind this door is another 
standing mirror. Showed you that. Nice table. I think I pretty well covered that inside. There's all your controls there. Power awning. It's got the prep package for the generator. So it's going to be pre-wired and all that. If you wanted to add a generator, it will be pretty simple. Ta-da. Let's go outside and I want to show you the controls and the storage in the front of the basement. bit of storage here not quite certain exactly what that's for but it does have power maybe you'd put an arm with a TV in there that pulls out there's your basement that's the box containing all the vacuum tools that have never been opened You've got power, cable, TV, that's your filter to change your um, your filter. There's actually, uh, the awning buttons are in here underneath this plastic cover, it's pretty wild. They've got those protected. you got some netted storage in the front. Looks like you've got some vacuum bags that aren't opened yet. One propane bottle on this side. There's your generator box ready to go. Two batteries, hydraulic system for your six point is there and your fluid. And we get over to the side. Got another propane bottle. It's gonna be for the landing gear in here. The other side of the basement. Bada boom, bada bing, and this is the um, all your connections. So, two satellites, telephone, 110 power, cable, hot and cold water, water pump switch, sewer tank flusher, fresh water tank, city water pressurized, um, hot water heater bypass valve, you got your black tank flush, your galley tank flush, your gray tank, and then your antifreeze fill would we'll just pull the antifreeze from right here. All this does close up. It's just got the hose attached to it. It's a quick connection. It doesn't want to play nice with me right this second. 10 gallon water heater. Hopefully that helps and there's your 16 ply Goodyear's. Those are going to go and go and go. Well, last they, you probably shouldn't have to replace them, especially if you keep them out of the sun. Thanks, Mark.